guys, how's it going? This is Piper. Sorry, let me work on this view a little for you. <laughs> Experimenting with camera angles, not going so well. Okay, this is your monthly read for May. This is going to be for Aries. Welcome to your reading. My name is Piper. This is my channel. Thank you for watching. I have a new deck of cards here, so you guys are going to be the guinea pigs. Um, this is the Starman Tarot. Very busy. <laughs> the graphics are um, a little far out, but they're very bright and um, creative. So we'll see how this goes. Still getting used to the deck. They're very elongated, which is strange. The whole deck is a bit strange. You'll have to let me know what you think. All right, so we're gonna do, we're gonna cover love, money, career. Um, I'm gonna use the um, clarif uh, Oracle cards, Soul's Journey. We'll do a, a moon card. And I'm also gonna use this tiny little deck for a manifestor card. Manifestation card. Um, that's a new deck as well. It is called the Law of Attraction deck. So I'll give you one of those for for the month as well. And then we will do one, or um, I'll give you one of those. We'll do one of these for the month with um, one month from the, um, that's your spiritual guidance, the Wisdom of the Golden Path deck. So you'll get a Soul's Journey Oracle for each category, love, money, or career. All right, for Aries, let's shuffle. It's a fabulously sunny day. Um, I hope you guys can see me. I'm squinting because I have all the windows open. <laughs> but I can't resist sun, you know? All right, let's see how this goes, Aries. Love, money, career. Three cards for Aries, please. Three cards for Aries. Love, money, career for May, spirit. Month of May, please. Aries. All right. Here you go, Aries. You have for love, what does this say? Judgment in reverse. Very bright, very colorful. Aliens. Money. Ooh, what's that? The Queen of Wands, look at that, Aries. Wow, that's you, look at her. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. And career, we have, oh my goodness. Uh, that's the death card and it's in the reverse. So, ooh, not much change in there, okay. So, um, I think I will clarify um, with the same deck, one card for each of those. And uh, I'm gonna lay out your Oracle cards right now. So let's see, Soul's Journey Oracle for Love, please. One card for Love, for May, for Aries. Forgiveness. One card for Money, please. May, Aries, May, Money. Discipline. And Aries Career, please, in May. Aries Career, whoa. <laughs> Courage. Okay, and we'll get your Moon cards. Love, please. Oh, there you go. Expect powerful change. My goodness. Uh, okay, and uh, one card for money. Money for May for Aries. Whoa. Be bold, make the first move. And career for Aries in May. Career, please. Oh, you got two. <laughs> two moon cards. We'll go over those. All right. So let's take a look at love. Here we go. You have the judgment card in reverse. I'm, I don't know why I'm seeing this card a lot lately, but I am. Ooh, there goes the sun. <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> okay. So the judgment card in the reverse. This is what the card looks like right side up. A lot of these cards have, how can I describe it? The, the, the above and below kind of 
mirror one another, which is pretty interesting. So even in the reverse, you have that same um, example. Um, the judgment card in reverse is about seeing things. I, f I feel like it's like seeing things your way. <laughs> uh, I, I feel like you're not able to roll with the punches because you only see your, your side of things, your aspect, your view. And it's a little bit on the harsh side, the judgmental side in May. Um, And I feel like you guys can see what the problems are, or if there are problems, you you know it. I feel like you know it, but you're unable to... You're unable to kind of bring yourself around, let's say. Um, please clarify judgment in the reverse. Oh yeah, temperance, temperance in the river. My goodness, temperance in the reverse. What's going on? Uh, so out of balance, out of sync, um, yeah, bottom of the deck, we have the moon. Wow, look at that card. It's beautiful. Um, and so I feel like you guys can't see into the future and that's what's bothering you. Like you've got a little bit of fear, fear of what's ahead. You're out of balance and it's causing you to feel... Like, <laughs> I, keep, I keep hearing the word instigator in my head. I'm not sure what that means. Uh, or I know what it means, but I'm not sure what it means for you, Aries. And so really judgmental. I feel like you may be responding very quickly, maybe too quickly to people's comments or queries. Um, like, uh, like sharp retorts is what I'm, they're saying to me in my head. And so... Um, Also, with the judgment card in reverse, there are references to past issues. Maybe you are holding on to those with this card. I'm not saying maybe you are. Um, your past has affected you in the way that it hasn't balanced out yet. The temperance card in reverse is about not monitoring your behavior or not being able to balance your emotions. Um, I feel like it's out of fear. And so... You have forgiveness here. The forgiveness card reads, I acknowledge that harboring resentment blocks the flow of love. You need to forgive yourself, Aries. This is about self-forgiveness. Forgive the people from their past, but it I feel like you already have done that. It's more about forgiving yourself. And this is going to take some change. Expect it. Everything's uncomfortable. Change to, in order... Sorry, hold on. Let me listen for a second here. <laughs> Change is inevitable. Um, but in order to... So when I said roll with the punches and you're kind of not rolling with the punches, this is what I mean. Change is coming here. You need to forgive yourself, but it's it's uncomfortable with this card. This, this card is a card of discomfort. Change is happening, but it's just not happening comfortably for you. Not at all. Um in May. I feel like you have resentment. That word resentment rang a bell. And so with the judgment card in reverse, you may be resentful of others, um, of others' inclinations, of others' situations, of others' I feel like also, too, there's a little bit of, like, maybe if I clarified one more time, I might see a card of jealousy. <laughs> I'm going to do it. Um, well, I didn't, but I got the seven of wands, which is giving up, and, and the five of cups in the reverse, which is about... It's almost like you've given up letting go of regret or... Or you're not you're not fighting for it. You're not fighting for it. You're out of balance. 
I do feel like you can't do it. It's This card is, you know, letting go of the resentment, letting go of the grief. This is about realizing you can do it, but it's not here yet. And so it's time to really put forth the effort here, forgiving yourself and kind of, I hate to say the word dragging, but making yourself go through powerful changes in order to, um, some of you need to evolve your love life, evolve you so your love life can evolve in May. All right, money, here we go. Money, you have the Queen of Wands. I love this card. I feel like this is you guys. Queen of Wands, look at it. Um, okay, so you are exceptionally high powered this month regarding money, funds, um, the queen of wands steps into her power. It's all about power. Look at her. She's surrounded by high priestesses and flanked by two black panthers. But I don't know if you can see that flanked by two black panthers below her. She's just amazing. Hello. Look at her hands on her hips. So <laughs> love life be damned. You guys are like, I'm about the money, man. Don't you mess with me. Um, so I, I feel like you're stepping forward and really starting to make huge moves regarding um, finances, making money, um, pushing your agenda. They just said to me, pushing your bulletin board. I'm going to call it an agenda. <laughs> pushing your agenda um, and taking um, big, bold steps. So I feel like I, they're saying to me, money is much improved. Money is much improved, mostly because you're just simply putting forth such effort. Um, clarifying about the Six of Cups in re the reverse, something you're not going back to, or your past is no longer in play here. And you're putting it in the past. Yeah, clarified. Wow. Clarified with the Six of Cups in reverse and the Princess of Pentacles in reverse. So I feel like it, yeah, this is in the past. The Princess of Pentacles, let's take a look at this card. Holy cow, look at her. Princess of Pentacles, it is all about money, but these are alien cards, so <laughs> it's actually a pretty interesting card, and I'm just not sure if you guys can see it, but there's a beanstalk, or what equates in my mind to a beanstalk above her head. There's um, some broken eggshells down below at her feet with a green plant growing out of it. Um, it's about growth, but it's just beginning here. Like it's a little little beanstalk. To, oh, those are beanstalks. I don't know what those are. I need like a microscope. Um, something's broken. Something's growing. That's the, the Princess of Pentacles. She's a messenger, but she's in the reverse. And so I feel like these cards clarifying you, it's about putting things in the past. In the past, which you're you're not fond of, for sure, you lost focus. And so, yeah, because, oh my goodness, yeah, look at this. You, yeah, because you had the four of cups in reverse on the bottom of the deck and the four of pentacles upright on the bottom of the deck. Spirit is saying to me, it's just too much at that time. I also see King of Cups at the bottom of the deck. And so I think you weren't ready. You weren't ready for something. You were unhappy. It affected you. Um, and so this is over here, these two cards. So you are super disciplined this month. I feel like this is why this is coming all about. You've just become a militant with the Queen of Wands. Because <laughs> she doesn't take no for an answer, first of all. I can accomplish whatever I set my mind to. So you are putting forth all the effort, making sure it happens, um, having expectations of yourself and fulfilling those things. You're also not afraid to make moves this month. And they're telling you, if there is a move to be made, be bold and do it. Make the first move. Uh, they're saying to me, Aries must carry forth the plan that was set out on paper. So whatever you've been planning, Aries, do it. Time to do it. Put your mind to it um, and make things move forward in the month of May. And I do also, they're also saying to me, um, I want to relax a little bit too. 
just relax because it's all well and good to be this um, powerful. But I feel like, so they're trying to say, enjoy the ride because it's all, it's, it is all about you. It's not like, I feel like this is directed at you, all this effort, all this power, all this feeling, uh, feeling queen of wands thing and being in charge of your own life. And so they want you to feel They don't want you to actually miss out on the experience. Like, so you're doing it and you're all wrapped, wrapped up in fire and all that. But they want you to like lay down and inhale it. That's what they're saying to me. <laughs> if that makes any sense. They want you to lay down and inhale it. Don't miss out on it. Breathe it in. Breathe it out. Experience it. Experience pleasure from being able to find. I feel like this is big for you. I feel like this is like a finally thing here with money in May. Okay. Here we go career i'm going to show you the card right side up because they're so crazy freaky um who wrote this deck um david i'm not sure i'm pronouncing this right david de angelis and esther de de angelis excuse me and also um they collaborated with david bowie as if you couldn't guess um and so that's pretty much why I bought it because he's not around anymore. This is my honor to David Bowie. Um, and so this is the death card right side up. Craziness, really frightening, pretty frightening. Alien death. <laughs> so here we have it in the reverse um, for career. Now, my guides are getting into us. They're saying the stars have shown us. <laughs> So try to think of this as, as a reading from the stars. Um, literally. Okay, they're saying the stars have shown us that we cannot survive here. I feel like you guys are really unhappy with your job, but you're trying to make it work. It's And it, this is like static. Something that should be over, something that should change, something that should evolve is not. And I, I feel like you guys have some sort of vision in mind for yourself or a dream, but you cannot make that happen now, or you can't make the transformation with the death card in reverse. The death card in reverse, this thing keeps reversing on itself. And so sometimes the situation gets a little better and then, you know, you come crashing back down again. Um, They're saying, you don't have to be so dire. <laughs> Sorry. Judgment. <laughs> uh, so it, I, I, I feel like it's a waiting game for you guys. Waiting game. Um, I'm going to clarify that death card. Just because these are so much fun to use. Look at that sucker. Clarified by the Ace of Wands. Woo! Look at the power behind that card. Passion, fury comes to mind. Um... Ooh, and the lover's card reverse. So there is a, yikes. Notice me looking at the bottom of the deck. Oh my goodness, okay. Okay, bottom of the deck, we have eight, and one, eight of the wands reversed, eight of swords, so trapped in your head because something can't move forward. There are delays, um, and then two of wands in reverse, delays you weren't prepared for. Yeah. So they're saying to me, Ace of, my goodness, sorry, I'm going to contribute, I'm, I'm attributing this to the energy in these cards because I can't even speak. <laughs> I can't, I'm falling apart. Um, Ace of Swords and the Lover's card in reverse. So huge opportunity here, the eight, uh, Ace of Swords, Ace of Wands, sorry, good Lord. Ace of Wands promises you a bigger, better, more fulfilling future. But the lover's card can't make up their minds or cannot make up their mind right now. Do you understand? So I, again, things in the works here. There are delays with this eight of wands at the bottom of the deck. Delays you weren't prepared for with the two of wands in reverse or that weren't planned on. You didn't plan on things taking this long. Um, and you're a bit trapped in your head about it with the eight of swords is beautiful. Look at it. Oh. 
Love it. Uh, so, it's not easy to patiently wait to change your life or to make your dreams come true. So I feel like you want to move on. Or someone's going to offer you something, but there's some sort of turning point that you're expecting or planning for or wanting, but we didn't plan for is not being able to actually execute that brand new, brand spanking new life here with the Ace of uh, Wands. That's my favorite card yet. Um, <clears throat> so you're dealing, what you're doing is you're, you're, you're dealing with the, a, a static situation currently. Um, you got the courage card. So that you do need to find inner strength. They're saying find the inner strength to face fear with confidence. It, it's about not worrying so much. It is probably taking a little more bravery than you intended. It's hard, I also feel like, because you do have the Eight of Swords. You may be frustrated. Um, you've got to kind of fix your vision. Hold your vision, they're saying. Hold your vision. That's about keeping your dream alive, um, keeping your eye on it, knowing that you can make it happen. Um, you also got meditate and contemplate, which is about finding balance within yourself. That's the lover's card. I, I, you know, you can see the you can see the resemblance to Pisces swimming around one another. Um, the lover's card in reverse. I mean, this is the card Gemini, but there's two there again intertwined. Sorry, just taking a good look at this card here. This is a pretty, I'm looking at the artwork. There are things underneath the water, but the card Gemini is the card of twins and it's all about twos. Look at this crazy. Um, so yeah, waiting again in May. So you're going to, you're going to need strength so to, to remember what you want to do. You, you have a dream. You want to move on to it. You can't make it happen yet. You're going to have to meditate. You're going to have to contemplate. You're going to have to keep your dream alive within you and use inner strength to get around whatever issues you're having currently. All right. So here comes your advice from Spirit Card. Spiritual advice for the month of May for Aries. I am blessed. All right. I'm going to read for the book. A circumstance or situation in your life that seems unfair to you may actually be a blessing in disguise. A natural state of balance and justice exists in our world. The universal principle of complementary opposites, known as yin and yang, interwoven with the universal law of cause and effect, keep all in life in perfect balance. Though frustrating, the present circumstance is steering you towards a higher purpose, and what unfolds from this is a feeling of fulfillment and happiness. At present, you cannot see the blessing, so you must be patient. Something beautiful will soon manifest. Surrender any feeling of resentment or frustration and trust. All is unfolding in the most perfect way for you and those around you. Plant little seeds of love and faith now and you will reap a blessed harvest in the months to come. Wow. All right, you guys, one manifesting card here for you. Let's flip it from this little deck. Aries and May, please. Aries and May. All right, here you go. Every day, I practice my ability to reach my desired financial goals. That's your manifesto card. And the front of the card reads, practice. Okay, you guys, good luck in May. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to check out the link below to the unexpected. I think I'm going to use these cards for the unexpected too. Not sure. I'm just enamored with them. So look for that. The link will be deposited in the, sec um, the security box. What is wrong with me? The description box below. Um, along with information on how to obtain a personal reading with me. Okay, guys. Thanks. See you next month. Bye.